What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another Sunday with me, trying to run it up. I got out early this morning. I didn't film anything because I kind of just wanted to get the wheels spinning and get in my groove. I did two batches for 131. I got a nice Ralph's, and then after that, I got a nice Northgate Market going all the way down to Chula Vista. So I made it to Costco. I'm at a Costco that I don't usually come to, but it did serve me up this nice 57 here. It was the only one they showed me on the drop, and I wasn't gonna pass it up. It's a very easy shop. Both customers are pretty close both of them don't have a lot of units so it should be a pretty simple shop after i get this dropped off this should put me around 188 by like 11 o'clock which is a very good number i'm just gonna come out and say it right now i'm going for 600 today it's sunday the sunday before thanksgiving thanksgiving's on thursday so i'm gonna literally try to make as much as i can today i'm not gonna sit around and wait for bangers all day if something is solid i'm gonna take it and just try to keep the needle moving up like we always do every single day every single sunday i will be somewhat picky but not too picky because since today is Sunday, there should be some great orders. Like I say in a lot of videos, I'm not gonna sit around waiting for a triple digit because sometimes those really never come and you're just waiting forever. So the goal is to just keep moving today, get to 300 as fast as I can, then four, then five, and hopefully 600. But if I don't get to 600, 500 will be a good day too. So we're hoping for a great day today and let's get it going. Final flat right here. Absolutely messy. Yeah, it is really bad in there. As I expected, the lines are terrible. Everything's just really rough in there. But we're good. Loading up. It's almost 11. All right, we're loaded up. Let's get this dropped off. What did you just go through? So like the delivery that was on the thing, mm -hmm. it took me to the sixth. There's so, I don't know anything about UCSD. Oh, it took yikes. me to six. I'm walking around at six. She has a case of water, Ooh. two boxes. And she's like, oh no, like that's so far away. I'm at seventh. I don't know what seventh means. <laughs> so I drop it off at this place called the Catalyst. Cause that's where it, the map took me. So I dropped it off because I was just like, she I can, was over she it. She can go find it I herself. was over it. It took, I was there for 15 minutes looking for parking. Uh, I was over it. So I took a picture, I sent it to her. She's like calling me. Mm. I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. Can you please send it to seven? And I'm driving away because I'm like, I don't care. I'm, I sent her a picture. She can go walk herself across the street if that's what it is. Seven. And as I'm driving away, I have to like go like half a mile and I'm driving through seven. And I'm looking around, I'm like, wow, I feel really bad. So I turned around. After I marked delivered, I turned around. To get it? To get it, because I felt bad. Because I was like, okay, well, seventh is like half a mile away. I took this because I was here to see you anyway. And, uh, you know, hopefully. Nice little 30. Hopefully it's better than what I just went through. Yeah, yeah. all right. It's, it's a double. But, you know. Easy. Okay, so we picked up a nice 67 repeat. Haven't had her in a very long time, actually. I used to get her all the time from Sprouts. But today she ordered from Ralph's. I recognize all the customer notes and stuff. So it's a very easy delivery, even though she has like a nice paragraph of notes. It's not very complicated. Should be easy. She asked for some flowers to be added to the order, as you guys can see in the back. So we are about five minutes away. It was kind of a long wait for this batch. I went to another Costco. This Costco usually sends me up north, but today it didn't really have anything for me. There were a couple people working on orders, but for a Sunday before Thanksgiving, it was actually pretty weird that there were no orders coming in, or at least no good orders, that is. There were a lot of orders. There's just a lot of small trash doubles going far, not good tips, stuff like that. This one should put me over 255 by about 215 or before 215 since it's two o'clock right now and we're still on pace for a very good number today we should be at 300 hopefully with the next batch which i will be letting you guys know shortly you guys there are still good people in this world now i don't know if it's the time of year or whatnot i don't even know if i've ever met her i usually just bring the groceries down the her husband waves me down and i don't even think i've met her before and i've done her order probably 25 or 30 times in my life this lady just gave me a hundred dollars in cash 20 i'm not gonna count for you guys i don't have to lie about that right really appreciate kathleen that was super generous of her i'm just really grateful she's already tipping extremely well on the app i did not see that coming super sweet people let's keep this day moving 
So we just got to Torrey Hills charging for a few minutes. I don't really need a huge charge. I was at like 70 miles, but I'd like to get at least a, another 60 or 70 added on. I will be going up to Del Mar. Got that last one up to 73 along with the 100 cash. We're at like 262 or something like that. So we need like a 40 just to get to 300. All right, we're walking up to Ralph's. We picked up a 50 single. We're back in my element up north in Del Mar. We're gonna run in here and we're gonna take care of this. Puts us over 300. Okay, that one was quick, in and out. I talked to one of the guys that I see here all the time that works here and he's like, bro, earlier you could barely even walk in the store. That's how busy it was. I was like, yeah, that's how Costco was today too. Could barely even walk in Costco. But I caught someone that had no line. That's one thing I like about this store. They usually always have a lot of cashiers on hand. So most of the time, if you're ready to check out, most of the time, it's not a lot of waiting. We're gonna go drop this off, come right back. Okay, we're back at La Jolla Ralph's. This is what we caught from Del Mar. So even though some of the beverages on here are non-alcoholic and there's zero alcohol, they're making me shop it here. This is gonna put me over 400 within like 40 minutes. So let's handle this real quick. Okay, this is our final heart right here. It's pretty full. 25 minute shop, they had everything. I think I made two replacements, but they were already pre-approved, so we gotta go check out and get this loaded up so we can go drop it off. So we just delivered that, it's about 5.20 and it's already pitch black outside. You know, it looks like it's like 10 p.m. That was an amazing order, I have had her before. I did have to scan her ID, even though there were non-alcoholic beverages on the order. We had a fun laugh about it. She gave me 10 cash. Super cool, that makes 110 cash today. By the way, I don't really count cash. I mean, I count it, it's, it's real, but like, if I'm going for like 600, I'm going for 600 on the app or 500 on the app. I don't really, like, yeah, I can include it, but to me, it's all about what is on the app. It's kind of weird, I, it's whatever. Obviously, the cash still counts. So now we're making our way out of La Jolla. I'm trying to figure out where to go right now because it's dark, but it's still gonna be busy. There still should be really good orders. What I'm thinking about is going to Claremont to charge or potentially back up north. I'm not sure yet. This is gonna be a game time decision, but amazing people today, amazing tippers, amazing orders. We're gonna keep rolling with it and see what we can make. And I'll let you guys know as soon as we get our next one. Okay, so I originally took a 54 and then it was horrible. I'll show you guys. Cancel. It. A few minutes later, I picked up this right here, really quick, right down the street, or right across the street. So we're going to run in here and run through this. So we got that one done within 27 minutes from acceptance to delivery. It was cool she came out and brought her ID. I didn't have to go far at all. Literally, we met on the sidewalk. Now, for those of you who don't understand what I mean, making a dollar a minute, it's all about like, let's say for example, you get a $30 order, you can get it done in 30 minutes or less. I always think that's good. You know, you get a 60, you do that in an hour, that's solid, right? So it's six o'clock right now, we're at 437. We're going to, once again, try to figure out where to go from here. I don't know if I should hang out here at Pavilions for a little bit. It said the store was hot. Now, I don't know what that means. Usually that doesn't mean anything, but it did toss me that 53 earlier that I canceled and then that quick little 31. So I might give it a few minutes just to see because there's also a BevMo right here. If not, I'll probably head down into PB just because getting out through La Jolla this other way is a lot harder. So once again, I will let you guys know as soon as I get my next order. Bro, it got so slow. I forgot I was even filming today. It just died, died. I could have taken a 41 pavilions going downtown for like 13 miles, wasn't feeling it, and then trash for hours. Picked up a 30 Jimbo's, easy, Robert, we appreciate him. This gets us close to 460 something, over 460, we're right around there. So we gotta make this quick, we wanna clear five. 
Okay, so it's 8.30 right now, just a tick after. We're up 475. We got that last order up a little bit, which was nice. So now we're waiting on a 25 just to hit five. It has been an amazing day, and if volume would have, you know, stayed consistent, then I would have probably been able to have a chance at making six on the app. Now, I probably will end up counting the cash clearly. So with the cash tips that I've gotten today, that puts me around 585. So today's an absolute dub. I'm not complaining. Hopefully one more order comes in soon. If I want to be able to hit 600 on the app, then something big is going to have to come in. And with it being 830 and the fact that volume has been completely shot for the last probably two and a half hours, my hopes are not really high for like 100 or a 90 to come in right now. But it is possible. I'm going to try to hold off until I get something that actually puts me over 500. So we're here in Solana Beach. Hopefully something comes in taking me south and I'll let you guys know whatever we run next. All right, we finally got one. It took long enough. We got a 30 single Carlsbad. Didn't really want to go north, but I wasn't about to wait around and not clear at least 500 on the app. So it should be easy. Hopefully the delivery is easy as well. It says we're going to like some room 6308 or I don't know, but hopefully we can knock this out real quick, head south and call it a day. Energy levels are low right now, if you guys can't tell. I just need to get this dropped off, get home, recharge, get ready for tomorrow. Like right now, I'm thinking about tomorrow. I'm not even thinking about like, today's been great, but I'm like, okay, I gotta make sure I get home, get some sleep, proper food, because tomorrow's gonna be another good day. Okay, that was brutal. This is a resort here this is like a hotel resort i walk in first of all the lady has like i think six gallons of water total give or take and so you know i bagged it all and you know made it pretty easy it's not terrible to carry but when you're walking for miles i was walking miles but i was walking forever this dude apparently gave me the wrong directions the security guard saves me like 15 minutes later after i'm literally walking around i'm just like where is this place each building has a different number so it was really messy could have been a lot worse I really appreciate the security guard for helping with this delivery puts us at 506 on the app puts us over 615 on the day so i'm going home that's a great day i'm completely exhausted it is just about 10 o'clock and i have a 30 minute drive home so gotta get home time to relax try to wind down a little bit and still get to bed at a decent time so i can get up early i greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this video and supporting me and i hope you guys are crushing it out there in the field and i will see you guys in the next video